Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning and welcome to another Mr. Doc 2 Fan 13 Doc 2 DVD. <coughs> sorry, <coughs> Mr. Doc 2 Fan 13 first impressions video. And <coughs> this morning's first impressions video is going to be on Doctor Who Journey to the Centre of the TARDIS. Now, <coughs> I'll admit, when I first heard about this episode, I was kind of looking forward to it, but at the same time, I was speculating over it, because of the writer Stephen Thompson, who wrote the disaster from series 6, well not the disaster, but one of the worst episodes from series 6, the Curse of the Black Spot. And you know what? I I was like I was like, I had mixed opinions on this when I was like when I was like building up to it. Then I watched it and I was just like It's another piece of Stephen Thompson's usual crap. I wanted to like this episode. I, I was willing to give it a chance, and because it was a journey to the centre of the TARDIS and we were going to see more of the TARDIS than ever before, I was really excited for it. But at the same time, I, I, I saw the name Stephen Thompson and I was like, oh god, here we go again. <sighs> but then when I watched it, it was just... If it wasn't for Asylum of the Daleks, then... Journey to the Centre of the TARDIS will be the worst episode of Series 7 so far. But before I dive into the negative stuff, I want to say there are there were some positive stuff that came out this episode. Like um we got to see uh, more of the swimming pool. We got to see the swimming pool, the library, and the book on the time war, and I did think that the monsters, the uh, lava monster things, while they did look like something out of a Resident Evil game, they did look a lot better than, sorry about that, they did look a lot better than the siren from the Curse of the Black Spot. So, uh, yeah. But... Aside from the past references in this episode, I didn't like it. I hated it. I, I hated it. It was absolutely horrible. While, well, it wasn't horrible, it was just terrible. It was, I mean, you could say it was abysmal on the level of Love of Monsters. But I thought it was just pretty bad. Give it a 3 out of 10. While there were some good performances in that by Matt Smith and Jenna Louise Coleman, I didn't really like the performances of the so called androids, as they found out at the end. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <coughs> well, I didn't really like the performances done by the actors who played the who were thought to be androids. The, the performances just weren't that convincing. And I, I, I just... I didn't really like it. I didn't like a journey to the centre of the TARDIS. I wanted to. I really wanted to. But the huge... HUGE thing that made me think, oh my god, this episode was pointless all along, was at the end. Now, there was some good and some bad that came out of that. The good is that, um, you know, Clara saw the Doctor's name and now she'll never know it. And she won't go looking for his name. But... The bad that came out of it is that 
You know what, maybe there were some good and bad that came out of that. But the bad. All the sympathy we were supposed to feel. Spoilers coming up. All the sympathy we were supposed to feel for that android who was the brother of, well, another android. All the sympathy we were supposed to feel was pointless because that adventure never happened. It was just taken out of existence. I mean, yeah, Utopia and the Sound of Drums and the Last of the Time Lord, that was taken out of existence as well. <clears throat> that never happened. But at least the people on the Valiant could still remember it. And it was still entertaining. But this... Uh, sorry, that had a better reason to not happen. But this... I really, really did not want. I mean, I suppose it is glad because it was a pretty bad episode, but it just made it even worse. Like, that's what narrowed it down from a 4 to a 3 out of 10. My God, Steve Thompson. Where will you ever get a Doctor Who script right? And Stephen Moffat, why do you even trust Stephen Thompson with a Doctor Who script? Hey? Eh? I mean, let's see. He wrote an okay Sherlock episode for Series 1, The Blind Banker. Then he wrote a brilliant script for Sherlock Series 2, The Rhinebeck Fall. But that's just Sherlock. But with Doctor Who, he's messed it up both times. The Curse of the Black Spot and Journey to the Centre of the TARDIS. They were both piles of crap. I know I said before that I thought The Curse of the Black Spot was underrated. But looking back, it's garbage. It's garbage! Journey to the centre of the TARDIS and the Curse of the Black Spot are both GARBAGE! However, I will admit though, I will admit, I think, I'm, I'm not sure whether to say, I'd probably say Journey to the centre of the TARDIS wasn't as bad as the Curse of the Black Spot. Because, you know, there was lots of adventure and lots of things going on in it. In it. But still, it's, it, that doesn't mean it's a great episode. 3 out of 10. Join me next week for the Crimson Horror.